Hey everyone, today I've got a really cool and really obscure sketch trick to show you guys. And I would guess if you work in a small office that by the end of this video you will likely be the only one in the office to know this trick. It's that obscure. Uh, I can't think of a way that you'd figure this out uh, unless you really like to tinker or unless someone showed you. So, the idea is corner radius, right? So you can manipulate the corner radius of a rectangle by selecting it and messing with the radius, right? but it does all the corners at the same time. You can choose to hit return or double click on the shape and you can edit the individual corners, but that's kind of slow. And I've got these four rectangles, they all need to share the same corner radius, but for different reasons, uh, but they need to match. So I'm going to select all of them and I'm gonna go over here, here to radius and I'm gonna choose where it says zero. I'm gonna put zero slash zero slash 50 slash 50. Now what that's gonna do is it's going to round the third and fourth corners. So it goes clockwise. You have top left, top right, bottom right, bottom left. So zero, zero, top, top, 50, 50, bottom, bottom. So now that I've done this, I don't have to worry about the position of those corners in situations where I need to flip it. All I need to do is flip it on the inspector. So for these two, for example, if this one's going to be at the bottom and this one's going to be on the left, uh, I could do this in a way that this is 50, 50, 0, 0, or I can select it and I can choose to flip it. And if I choose to flip it, it's still 0, 0, 50, 50. It just happens to be displaying upside down instead of right side up because that's what flip does. And I can also choose to rotate this one if I want to. I believe this is a negative 90 degrees. Yep, and at negative 90 degrees, I can make this go down the entire side. If I want to, I can do whatever I want with it. And then this one up here, I can leave it the same if I want to. And in the future, if I change the corner radius, if I change one of these and it becomes 50, 50, uh, 40, 40, I can go and I can copy and paste that 50, 50, 40, 40 into this box on these other ones. And I don't have to worry about their orientation because if they've been rotated or flipped, they're still the same thing. The corners are still respected top left, uh, bottom left, etc., etc., based on the original shape, not based on the way the shape has been rotated or flipped. So that's a really cool way to take a bunch of rectangles to make the corner radius match and to do the corners differently from one another without having to go one by one, without having to go into the shape and edit the individual handles. It just takes a few seconds and you can just slap it on all of the shapes in your entire design and make them all match. So that's really cool. Hopefully you guys like this tutorial. It's a short one, but a sweet one. And I gotta say, when I learned this trick from a colleague, uh, I, was, I was pretty shocked, because how else would I know to do that if someone didn't show me? So now I've shown you guys. So please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will have more cool stuff coming soon.